the most important thing about the stack panel we go forward to the ROP panel it arranges controls in the available space one line or column at a time let me just take the snippet for it okay here it is we have the ROP panel here we have a horizontal, the same horizontal put it in here I, I set it maximum width for each control the caption remains the same let's just run it and you can see it the, the elements that didn't fit in the first line are on the second line let me just resize it oh yes it does move the way I want them to do pretty simple pretty basic nothing more really to see about it the duck panel uh, have you ever wanted to have uh, controls uh, attached or stretched to one side of a panel or the screen or the window don't worry dog panel will do this for us in this case we have the following code in here dog panel we just have a new property dog panel dog the label here we have the label It's on the top, some bottoms, on the left, bottom and right. Let's run it and see the result. Okay, buttons are attached to the sizes I mentioned before. It will be useful, this one also. Let's move to the grid panel. As I said before, it separates elements into a grid of rows and columns. With it, we can do pretty much everything we did with the previous panels. And using it implies two steps. First, we choose the numbers of rows and columns. And secondly, we assign each element to the appropriate row and column we want it to be in. Grid lines are invisible, but for this lesson, I will enable them. Okay, let me just show you what this grid means. I'll just put it in here. As you can see, we have show grid lines set it on true. We have two rows, we have three columns without anything else custom on it, and we have the same control, but this time we say that the label is in row zero, column zero and so on let's run it as you can see as mentioned it everything is in its place as you can imagine already uh, these panels won't be used alone we can nest them we can do whatever we want with them just to create ergonomic and user friendly interfaces the things were pretty pretty simple until now we'll just try to use what we've learned so far to develop a classic text edit window we will have a big text box in it we will have a, a uh, save uh, and cancel button and we will try to do this window with panels first attempt is by using the dock panel and the stock panel the dock panel the stock panel will contain the buttons the cancel and the save button and uh, it will be docked in the dock panel at the bottom side and in the dock panel we will also have a uh, text box let me just put it here okay we have the last child field set it on true so that we could use the rest of the the window to put some other elements in it so as i said we have the stock panel which has uh, the save and the cancel button aligned at center and in the dock panel we have the text box and we, it has some text pre-written on it and the stack panel is docked in the dock panel at the bottom side 
let's run it and see okay text is in here you can see it we can resize it it works great buttons already remain on the center and on the bottom of the window so this is a simple way to do it but as I said before the almighty grid control can do anything what others control can do and in this case we'll try to do it with the grid panel I'll just add the grid panel in here we can say that uh, one uh, definition is uh, row it's uh, very high the other one is auto automatically set we have uh, no columns because we don't need it and in uh, the text box will be in row in the first row in row 0 and a stack panel with the button will be on the second row we just run it write some text in here is the same here you can see the uh, visual set it on uh, grid of course it will be disabled it's just for debugging okay so as you can see today we learned something about layout it's very important to use it uh, in the future uh, it's very important to remember that each type of uh, control can contain in it a panel uh, and it can be nested in it and can be used to display many wonderful things for example uh, let's take the tooltip control we'll have uh, for instance uh, i want to display when the mouse enters a button a tooltip that has an image on it and it has a text on it in this case it's very simple i have a stack panel i have an image on the stack panel i have a text box entered in that stack panel and the tooltip it's very beautiful it has a lot of information in it and basically interface becomes more and more user friendly and more helpful a very good book for learning is Pro Windows Presentation Foundation in C Sharp 2008 by Matthew McDonald. I really enjoyed that book. Uh, I really hope I was helpful to you. So until next time we meet, happy coding everybody. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye.